Hi, I'm Chef Colin. Today I'm going to cook a dish using this newly launched Thermos Ultra Deep Frying Pan. Alright, so we have two different versions here. One is the deep design, one is the ultra deep. Alright, so this ultra deep is suitable for stir frying, pan frying, grilling and also soupy dishes like what I'm going to show you right now. The Malaysian all-time favourite, Lontong. So for this dish today, I'm going to use this 30cm ultra deep frying pan. So it's lightweight as you can see, and it's also deeper than general frying pan. All right, so I'm going to put this away, and let's pour in the water. So it's 1.75 liter of water as you can see. It still fits in perfectly. Right, so on the stove, so I'm going to put in the blended ingredients here, which consists of the onion, garlic, and also the dried prawns. Right, so I'm just going to bring it to simmer before adding in the remaining ingredients. Right, as you can see here, the handle design comes with vented holes that allows heat to escape through the holes over here, especially when you're using over a gas stove, handles tend to get hot. So this ergonomic design is just lovely. Right, so let me put in the ingredients. So what we have here is the lemongrass. You're just going to smash it a bit. Okay, smash this. Put in all the harder kind of vegetables in. We have the carrot there the cabbage over here okay so just mix it okay don't waste and let it simmer so it has a good heat retention due to its thick base so as you can see over here i'm just using medium heat and it's boiling so it saves you energy saves you money and also it's compatible for all kinds of stove Right, so let me pour in the ingredients. Over here we have the French bean, the tempeh, turmeric powder, so it's a very good antioxidant. Okay, and the chicken cube to actually flavor it, the dish over here. So as you can see, there's so many vegetables in here and still fits perfectly. Right, so I'm going to put in the bean curd skin, the glass noodle, tofu, Salt, pepper, coconut milk to make it creamy and nice and also rich in taste. So just give it a good stir. So right now we just want to bring it to boil. Then we are going to thicken it with the cornstarch. Right? So I always love it to be slightly thicker. Okay, so over here I have the corn flour. Just gonna add in the water. Gonna give it a good mix. And once my lontong here is boiling, I'm gonna pour in the corn flour. So as you can see, it retains a very good heat. As you can see, just on medium heat, saves me a lot of energy, saves me a lot of money. Right, so it's already boiling, so I'm going to thicken it with the corn starch mixture here. Just a little bit. Okay. Just going to let it boil. And we are done. Right, so right now I'm just going to turn off the heat. And as you can see, because of its thick base, it retains the heat. Right, so... Over here, I have the nasi impet. 
the peanut sauce and also the sambal. Right, so this is the perfect combination. And yeah, let's scoop it out. Okay, as you can see here, lovely vegetables. Just love the color. I'm so hungry right now. I'm going to put a generous amount of peanut sauce away in, and also a little bit of sambal to make it spicy. Right, so here it is, the all-time Malaysian favourite lontong for you to enjoy with your family.